coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. A while back, Ralph asked me, he said, Vicky, you want to go to the Washington State and hunt mule deer? And I'm like, okay, I thought there's black tails and white tails. I didn't know they had mule deer up in, near Spokane. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. <laughs> and you see what I deal with? <laughs> okay, uh, hold it in the middle. Uh, the left, your other left. To the right, just uh, put it in the center. Uh, there. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, we're heading to Washington State our first time. Right. And Jared Gibbons, who's been, you know, we've been talking back and forth for many years. Yep. We finally put this together. Yep. And now I gotta say this slow. Okay. Because we're hunting at Okanagan right. Valley Guide Service. Guide Service. Right. And we're gonna go Jared. hunt mule deers in Washington State, which we've never been. So no, it's really we've kind never of a been. cool thing. It's a pretty cool adventure. It is. We're kind of excited. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, one of the things we were talking back and forth to Jared, and I mean, they had some major fires. They did. They had some major fires. And normally, like you and I know, is as when we're traveling, we always have some hiccups along the way too. So we should just get going hiccups. and start showing the show. What hmm. do you think? Just hiccups. some hiccups. Just a hiccup. Travel. I hate it. Once again, Ralph and Vicki are packing up and headed out for some hunting. But what and where they're hunting is a little different than the usual whitetail. They're headed to Washington State for muleys with Okanagan Valley Guide Service. Time to head to Washington. So we're gonna pack up our bags, we're gonna take our plane of bouquets, we're gonna throw them in the truck, we're gonna head to the wonderful state of Washington. And you know what? I've never hunted in Washington. I've been to a couple of Cabela's grand openings here, but I've never hunted in Washington and I'm looking forward to this trip. After a day of flights, the crew lands in Spokane, and they can't wait to meet up with Jared and head to camp. But there's a little problem. By the time we got to Seattle, and then we got to Spokane, everything made it except mine and Ralph's bow cases. Go figure. Jared just said this has never happened before. Never, ever. Ever, never. I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty blatant that it's never, ever happened here before. And then he said, They'll, nobody knows where OMAC is. So, this, this is gonna work out. It is, it is. Otherwise, speed up, would you, so I could jump out, and at least I'll, I'll you know, the splat will be better. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're, uh, we're coming with one bow, and we're only gonna get one tomorrow. It should show up tomorrow. As they get further from the airport, Jared gets the call that one bow made it, but guess whose bow it is? Okay, so you just heard Jared, and he said we only have one bow. Isn't that a coincidence? There's two people, Vicky and myself. Isn't it another coincidence that Vicky's new Hoyt is here? The plane delivered hers, but no, not for Ralph. Mm-mm, not happening. And you see what I deal with? <laughs> Poor Ralph, he's always getting the short end of the stick. A two and a half hour ride later and the crew is at Okanagan Valley Lodge and the food is already hot and waiting. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want that big <laughs> That salmon bake that Sam made, it was really good, but I just can't eat that much salmon. I just, I don't. I was really glad, though, that I had some salad there. It was really uh, rocking and rolling. I'm like, I don't need that much. I serve it how I eat it. Oh, that's not my <laughs> fault. I like it. I serve it how I eat it. You're only laughing because I'm fat. No, I'm not laughing. <laughs> that's, that's not it at all. Oh. I love it. The other day, my coffee gal goes, "Do you want a Do you want a donut or a scone or something?" And I go, "Do you ask me because I'm fat?" Oh, no. I ask me want something? Oh, no. She says, "She's like, no, no." I'm like, that's, that's Vicky. With Vicky's bow in camp, only one of the Archer's Choice crew is going hunting in the morning. Sorry, Ralph. First morning out, Freddie and I would get in our mare step and we have no idea what we're gonna see. I, it's kind of, you know, new experience. You don't know what's gonna happen. And then as soon as that sun rose up, we knew we were in for a busy day.
We have been sitting in our blinds from sun up to sun down, and it's been chilly. And I'm actually been thankful for my heated Cabela's vest. But besides that, I know that today is gonna be a great day. Meanwhile, on another part of the ranch, since Ralph doesn't have his bow yet, he's relegated to watching deer from the truck and maybe taking a little nap. You'd like these, because then you could tie your little fishing nuts on. In August of 2015, lightning strikes caused five separate fires in Okanagan County. This became known as the Okanagan Complex Fire, burning over 300,000 acres and costing over $44 million. The fire is arguably considered the largest wildfire in Washington state history. The effects on the landscape can still be seen, but as with most wildfires, life is only destroyed for a season and nature comes back with a vengeance. The plants that the mule deer need for their winter ranges is returning and all will be back to normal soon enough. Mule deer have naturally migrated to the river bottoms in the area over the years. As their winter foods are covered by snow, they are forced to move down the mountain and into the valleys. And this is where the Archer's Choice crew comes in. Freddie and I sat there and Jared had a buck he had told us about. He said it's a mature deer, it's, it's a three by four, you know, this is the one you should really look for unless some freak guy shows up all of a sudden out of nowhere, but this is the one that they know that they've gotten on trail camera and we should be watching for. He goes around, he comes in front of us, and my heart is pounding out of my chest when he first comes in. And I guarantee you this buck can hear my heart beating.
Listen, we decided not to show the shot. It was no one's fault but my own. I hit him far back. Thankfully, my arrow did hit the femoral artery and we recovered him quickly. My arrow I flung like all crazy out of my bow, Freddie. <sighs> you, you take a shot, you try to make eth ethical shots, and sometimes we beat ourselves up. You know, things can happen and it doesn't go the way you always plan. Ralph's thing that he says, which was in my head, especially when we recover this mule deer, is, you know what? A good shot is a shot that you recover the animal. And so you gotta do everything you can to recover an animal to make sure that you find him. No animal is ever gonna go to waste because there's always coyotes and predators and birds and everything else out there, but you need to do the physically, the most you can to recover an animal that you shot. And you know what? I was very blessed to be able to recover that animal in such a short distance and not have it suffer. And, you know, a good shot is one that you can recover the animal in. So we're on the blood trail, and all of a sudden, it's Jared looks at me and he goes, "Are you kidding me?" Smile. I don't even see what you're looking it's at. Just smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I told you. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> Oh but we looked down, we saw that buck laying there, and all I could do was my heart and my, I just feel left, lifted. I, like, thank you, Lord, for not letting this animal suffer, even though my arrow did not hit where I was aiming at. And you know what? I just, I gave Jared a hug. I probably scared the tar out of him. He probably doesn't know what to do because I got crazy. I was just like, oh, you know what? My prayers were answered. We found that buck and he did not suffer. He didn't go 100 yards from that blind, and he is an absolutely beautiful him. four by four muley. <laughs> Washington oh State goodness. and Jared, thank you so much for, for everything. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Jared. Awesome. That was just insane. Awesome, oh. awesome buck. Jared, thank you so much for this. Oh, this is just, awesome. he is just a beautiful, beautiful mule. Finally, my bull makes it, so I cannot wait now. It's time for Ralph to hunt. Sun is just coming up over the mountain. Well, this morning, it's been a little slower than, you, than it was yesterday. But it's still real early, so I'm not worried about it at all. We've had some does and some bunch of yearlings, and I, two, two small bucks come in. should be here sometime later tonight. So I gotta believe that's gonna make these deer even feed a little bit better. Time will tell. All I know is we're sitting in our mare step ground blind in Washington State. And we are having a blast. Mule deer up the yang. Spike. 
know, it is a long sit, and you know, Chad and I are trying to, no, wait, I'm not, we weren't trying to stay warm together, but we were trying to stay warm. And we're looking, and there's this little buck, and I mean, all of a sudden, boom, there's, there's a monster. So, you know, we're, we're in the blind, and we've got does, we've got the little buck, we've got we've got action almost all day long, and this big buck is coming in, and he's, he's committing, and, I mean, we are ready. We're ready to rock and roll, and he's coming a little further, he stops, he hesitates, he's looking around, he makes, he commits a little more, and then all of a sudden he stops, he's looking, he looks right at the blind. It looked like he, he came a little further, and then he just walked away. walked out of my life <laughs> you know but this is something that's very common and we've all seen it is is it's like that sixth sense those mature animals whether it's bear elk moose deer I, I don't care what it is they have that sense and I think if just they get that vibe it's over Congratulations, your first you. Washington mule deer. Yeah, that was Obviously, good. you have one, and, and I couldn't close the deal. Well, you, you know what? I had some luck on my side, for sure. Oh. And you know what? I mean, it was a great trip. My bow, my Hoyt came on time. Yours didn't. You know, I got a deer. I'm going home with a deer. Do you ever Yours have those not. trips where, and it, it's it's no one's fault but your own or, or travel? Or they travel. Destiny. I was meant to get a Washington Every time, mule it just seems are. like every time our luggage is lost or screwed up or something, Things just never go our and, way. But normally, it's usually, I mean, when we traveled last year, every trip we went to, it was usually my bag. I mean, everywhere I went for like three trips in a row, one of my bags got lost. It was crazy. But you know what? Jared, thank Jared, you so much. Jared, all you guys, thank you so much. What an incredible place to mule deer hunt. Yes, yes. It, Okanagan. Okanagan Valley, Valley Guide, Guide Service. Service. Okanagan Valley Guide Service. Okanagan Valley Guide Service. We got that in Washington that. State. In Washington State. You know what? We're going back. We are going back. And we want to thank you guys for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.